Hello everybody and welcome back to some more action from the League of Dracula. Uh, this is a match between Pizza Wizard playing as the Hunters and Mr. Green playing as Dracula. I'm joined in the commentary booth by the dynamic duo of Captain Gyro and Roscoe once again. Hello gentlemen, how are we today? Hello everyone. Uh, All good. Good stuff. Uh, we've missed the first couple of days, but you know we 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 were here. It was not like we jumped in late, but uh, nothing critical. There was an evil presence, but it didn't show up anything, and that's pretty much it, I think. Nothing completely unusual going on. Um, in terms of the league, um, obviously all the games count, but uh, it's not one where I mean I, I I'm completely neutral in this. Like um, it seems at the moment, I might have been able to, I might have just sealed up second place, assuming I don't flop in my last three games, so I don't really mind what's going on um, underneath me in terms of the table, but maybe Roscoe, you might have a little bit more of a vested interest in this, given Mr. Green's yes. had a bit of a resurgence, so you'll be you'll be on Pizza Wizard's team, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, these games and uh, another couple of players have kind of dropped there, so I think if it stands, and again, if I win my last two, my DS might have an effect, but I've kind of managed to reduce that again, so... Um, yeah, if, if other results go a certain way, and again, I win my last two, then third could be completely fought for, but it could still be uh, in my grasp, which considering I was one in five at the beginning of this tournament final stage, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll be happy to, to finish third. But then again, there's always there's always a risk, Scott Sword, that you get up and all stressed out and start playing wrong stuff and throw the, throw the second place away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it could easily happen, but... Um... I'm happy to got all my Dracula games out of the way, so I've just got Hunters now to worry about. Um, obviously, the, the pressure's on me then, because if I want to catch Warcraft, I need some, not just wins, but I need some big wins. Because I'm just, I'm just making the assumption that Warcraft is going to win all the remaining games. Oh, we got Wax still in Oh, the and is in non. Wow. Oh, that's Mr. Green that's copying that's Pizza Wizard. Pizza Wizard did that in the last game that we watched. <laughs> Seems like Nant is a favorite start these days. Fascinating. Nant is, um, it seems to just like sit away in the corner of the map. Mm. In, a really, in a really out of the way spot. Same way Amsterdam sort of does. Yeah, especially it's good because it can also force Van Helsing to leave the UK to get to France. And if you want to leave, you could then go into the UK. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But the fact they they just discovered it this early, there's not the same pressure, I guess. Um, if you discovered it two days from now, then it's a bit more problematic. But that's a good use of wax cylinders. Um, for anyone who might not be fully up on their meta, wondering why would Dracula hide so early in the game, uh, it's because he can use the encounter on the hide card to protect his vampire at knots. Mm-hmm. Um, but it it brings the risk that you've seen, uh, where Doctor Seward, if he draws black cylinders early, can reveal you early. Yeah. And again, the thing is, he is only one location away from Nons now, as opposed to two. Yeah. So you are delaying. That's the other. If you are yes. found early, then you can only be in Bordeaux, Arras, Le Havre, or Clermont Ferrand right now. So it isolates. Drax movements, although there's still Wolf there, but yeah, that's the only downside. If you found early, then you've stayed one place, so. Yeah. It's going to reward. Absolutely. That's the big yeah, thing. Yeah, I think Wax Cylinders is a really well designed card. Or even. I agree. Absolutely, Captain Gyro, yeah. It's such uh, a such a risk reward for Dracula at that point to play the Hyde card. I love the fact that once you've used Hyde again, you still keep it, so. Drac knows about it, it, it kind of do you try and use it or you know typically if Seward is healed up and train ticketed up each night you can effectively just a hide search every night <clears throat> so no and you've got deduction so um yeah great card Scott got sword in it now you can shut your hole you can <laughs> <laughs> you can just agree and say it. I mean, it's a good card, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. It's an amazing card. Yeah, sorry, S tier, mate. <laughs> well, we certainly know where Dracula is now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, or mm -hmm. thereabouts. I mean, you so, probably yeah, was like, yeah, in that Hunter Taylor's video, dude, I was slacking off wax cylinders. Then in a league game against bugs, uh, I managed to find it with wax cylinders day two. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, you're uh, like, right, and same with Aggie, you were like, right, Sister Aggie, S tier, explain yourself. I'm like, well, 
<laughs> she's come out and done some damage in the league game. Ex so. yeah. Experience bias, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm so used to Rufus. I'm so used to... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I look at Rufus and Agatha this way. Like, if, if you have Rufus in the best case scenario, Rufus can limit what Dracula can do, and that's really good. But he doesn't always really do that. Like, he may or may not limit Dracula's options, depending on what sea zones he's using and, like, where exactly he wants to land. Like, if he goes from Mediterranean to Cagliari to the Tyranian to Italy to the Adriatic, Rufus Smith hasn't done anything. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, if you go one sea at a time, yeah. But you will always get Dracula in a combat in every game that you win. You, you can never win without getting Dracula into a combat. Oh, and if you, oh, you can't if hang in combat effectively, mm. you're just at an advantage. That's assuming the Hunts can get Dracula into a combat, unlike when we play, where... <laughs> Well, yeah, you've got to right, move but, to find Dracula. <laughs> but if you can't, if you can't get him into a combat, you're not going to win anyway. True. You can, like, it's like you, you can win without Aggie, though. You can win without Aggie. That's though. true. It, there's true. Yeah, it's Cash, that thing oh, again. Yeah. If Rufus only kicks in if Drac goes to sea, which isn't always a necessary. Hmm. As again, you know, and again, three three actions that Drax take, Aggie's going to do damage on him. So. Um, yeah. The, there's a time when you want Rufus, of course. Like, if he's trying to flee from Spain all the way back to Castle Dracula, and you <laughs> get Rufus, it might make a difference. But Typically, it's one of those, again, the longer they're at sea, the hunters can, you know, if they get money trail on a third ocean, they can all figure out where he is. Right, it we'll get you anyway. To land, kind of and then all of a sudden, he's facing two hunters that are guarding Castle Drac, so... Hmm. Yeah, so um, yeah, they're both, as you say, they're both. Uh, I just, <laughs> I just had uh, visions of like when you guys were all camping out in a cafe in France, and Drac looks through the window, sees you all sitting there with Aggie and Rufus at the table, and he's like, "I'll just, I'll just go past this cafe. I don't think I'll pop it." <laughs> <laughs> I was under the, I was under the illusion that if you, there's that, there's that old saying that if you stay in one place, you'll meet everybody you've met, and they're all sitting there going, "If, if we wait here, Dracula's bound to come past." <laughs> He'll like, play every yeah. location eventually, and... <laughs> yeah. Just wait here. <laughs> that's gonna get so much sleep. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I see, like, that's the... Everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck have you guys done? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? So, uh, yeah, this, uh, for people watching this now, this is a video that's gonna come out in a few weeks just because of scheduling. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna be like you're probably like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, just you'll see it. I w I'd probably say we don't say anything else about it, and you'll just see yeah. what happens. <laughs> you'll see what happens when it happens. It was a very funny game, though. I would just say that. Very unusual, but very funny. So anyway, back to this, this one. This is interesting because obviously, yeah, he's not going to Bordeaux. Again, he could have done the Clermont Toulouse and try and get into Spain now that Sue's moved. I, prob um, I probably quite like the idea that Dracula hasn't wolf formed here, because like, if he wasn't 15, like, ugh, wolf forming from 15 is not great. It's not a good location. No, because no. like, it all depends on where the hunts are, but like, where they're set up. Because like, if you go to Genoa, all it takes is one of them to row down Genoa, then you're found. You can't get that far north either. It's not great. It's not a great wolf form. So I, I think I, I like it that he's held on to the wolf form a bit more. It all depends on what this is. If this is a bat... <laughs> That's, the, that's then the other question. Like, what do you put as the hide card? Do you put a saboteur or do you put bats? Oh, you put saboteur if you have it. You save bats for something that's more guaranteed. Because as Dracula, we, you put down that <clears throat> that encounter on your first move. You still don't know if the hunters are going to find you there or not. Like That first encounter matures about 50% of the time or so. Maybe not that much. Maybe 30% of the time. I think the benefit of bats is because you can move the hunter, you want to move him onto a layer or another location that can damage him. Whereas when it's this early, if he, if he moves him, he's going to have to either stick him in Bordeaux, which does nothing for him but delay, he's going to reveal where he's gone. So. But here's, but here's the thing. So then the counter would be like, I've done it with bats a few times. If it's a situation like this where if it's found early, well, saboteur is like pretty much useless, but bats, mm. because of the timing, 
bats might just be enough because you're going to push them away. Then they're delayed, so they can't go there the next day. And then it's an ex yeah. the next day, and then it might that might be enough to mature. Whereas it's just a salvator, like, oh, I'll just wait out the night delay then, and then I'll just stake it the next mm. day or whatever it is. So it all depends on like it's when it's found and how many hunters can get there. Interesting. Yeah. This is Mr. Green's played the vampire, which is the mature card first, and he hasn't revealed the hide card, so he is allowing Seward a chance to actually kill. Yeah. The vampire, and then the hide is redundant. You know, usually you play the hide first. Yes. And you know, so maybe Mr. Green's thinking if he can do damage to Seward now, um, then he can push him into like the next trail space and do loads of damage. Oh, is this Holy Bullets? Oh, Let's go. Hey, Holy Bullets! Oh. Best item in the game. There you go. Hands Fuck it. Down. And then you know that's that vampire with a rumor token gone already. There you go. That's yeah, kind of. Who needs a stake? You know, you, you kind of play your hide because now the saboteurs, I don't know whether you <laughs> misclicked or not, but the saboteur is just redundant. Yeah, pretty much useless, yeah. He's got the rifle, so. I mean, he already knows he has a rifle anyway, so, yeah. Oh, well, snap. Played. Well yeah. played. Yeah, yeah good. Holy bullets. Yeah. The yes. anti meta card. <laughs> I think we have to go and re record that item tier list video, Ross. We've uh, <laughs> clearly, clearly under restorating our holy bullets here. Well, what, let me ask you this. Since stakes are so important, when a hunter lands on a vampire's space on the trail, doesn't Dracula generally ambush? Generally, Cause yes. Because he's worried about a stake. He wants to get his two damage off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're in a daytime fight with a vampire. Why not blast it full of holy bullets like Doc, Doc Seward just did there? Yeah. <laughs> Punch it in the face and shoot it full of holes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Gyro. He is the uh, sales representative for Smith & Wesson and all their ammunition. Uh, <laughs> he gets a kickback every time he mentions. <laughs> the well, and holy bullet. The added benefit is that same pistol can help you get rid of that saboteur. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's kind of, again, the issue is now, still isn't moved and he is only three away now from nonce but it's still you're gonna psychic bond italy tonight yeah um I'd imagine he's in italy okay all right that's so great information 15 36 25 i guess then 16 maybe try to wolf oh, Milan. If he wasn't uh, he's, he's gonna have to wolf on now surely but then 59 is risky because they both I think they both have horses, so... Oh, they do have both have horses, so... Hmm... If, if he's in 25 now and we'll form down to 45 to try and get that, further away... Yeah, that'd be better. Or... Do you will form backwards to like 54 and try and get into Spain? But then if that sewage right there... Oof, that's a risky one. Mm. Mm. It's in play... Oh, Rufus is already in play. Oh, right, okay. Mm-hmm. There's the wolf form. In my game against Warecraft, <coughs> this the pretty similar setup, and I wolf formed around the same time, and I ended up going from thirty six to eight uh, to try to sneak past Doctor Seward and into Spain, as Doctor Seward was heading up into France. You know, try to try to slip right past him. Uh, it was on the the next turn that he played hypnosis. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the only downside. Yes, yeah, so playing after just a single turn. Yeah. It's kind of okay, like that. so he's Dracula's gone down into the boot probably, or maybe even to Munich. Yeah, um, if, if Munich's uh, got the horse, he should either check fifty-seven or thirty-eight. Oh, to, he, he sure. didn't go to fifteen. So he could have been in 25. He was in 24, and he wolf formed. Well, he didn't go to 15. Must have gone Paris. Paris, 51, gone 24. Paris, nine. Yeah, but he's in Italy. Yeah, yeah. But he was in Italy, so he, he had he had, he went what? Yeah, 42, 42 51, 24. Because the hide was on the trail. There's no other option. We could only go. You could only wolf form to 41, 38. But again, in 24, See, that's where he was. Yeah. But now you know his wolf form location, so he can't. The furthest east he could be is Munich. Yeah. 
So it's not as dangerous. He could have gone up to 41, so he's probably heading up North Germany, really. So is Mina, do you... I don't, Jump on that? It all depends on what she's got. She's got chart. She's only got chart carriage. No escape route. No, I assume no holy yeah. circle. Do you try to get ahead of him? Maybe go to like say like thirty or a fifty-eight. Yeah. Fifty-eight, because fifty-eight would get ahead of him if he's going east by going thirty-eight down that side, or fifty-eight is quite close to go. You know, rail up or horse up to like say seven. Slow down careful. there, boys. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where he went after Nantes. <laughs> Paris? Uh, okay, so he went to 42. Yep. And then after that, it was 51 and yep. then 24. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how they pegged him in Italy. Yeah, it has, it has to be 24. There's no other option. Yeah, it must have been. He can't, he so can't, he he can't fled, get to Genoa. Yeah. He's fled like into Germany or either that or maybe to Toulouse. Yeah, they're the only two options, yeah. So I guess that's why I'm saying for Mina, you could go to 58, because he can't be in 58 right now, so Mina's safe, and you're cutting him off if he's going down into Baltica direction. Uh, for Psychic Scan, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I don't know about that one. Well, I mean, that, that, all, does that like, eliminates... It, four. At least it does, yeah, it eliminates 54, it eliminates 9 as well. Um, mm. Need to get on that trail though, before this information could Could have also walked forward to 8, yeah. that's, a, that's another option, because um, Seward went from not to 50, so could have walked forward to 8. So... They yeah. need to figure out where he was the day before Wolfborn, which that that was twenty four, right? Yeah, yeah, it has to be yeah. twenty four. So they they know that already. So that's all kind of okay for them. Uh, the hunters know that. So even if he misdirects, it it, it probably be, it's even better for the hunters if Mister Green misdirects that because you know it's twenty four. Um, yeah, I, if he has gone, if he is fifty four going into Spain, then you've got. Van Helsing takes chartered carriage off Mina and can get down to Madrid in one go. Okay, it's so rule, rules all that out. So he's now either going from 38 to 59, or he's going up yeah. into northern Germany. I, I see that. I mean, the fact that she rolled well and could get to Seward to rule out France, not, not a bad move. Not a bad if, move. Uh, he could have gone 24. 24 25. Yeah. Then they'll go past yeah, him and then he can go down into the boot. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's, hmm. that's yeah, enough. Jeff, I'd, I'd certainly check 38 with Godalming anyway, because at least then... I'd say... I, north or south. I'd say doing that to Genoa is so risky, because all it takes is just Godalming and me just to stay Godalming, put. exactly. I, is, I would but, say... Yeah. I would say uh, 24, you go over 51 to 41. And yeah. he'd have been next to Mina Harker, but that's not the end of the world. No. Uh, and so he could be in 41, gone to 44. Or, or Again, um, yeah, if north. You Munich anyway, if, he's, if he's 41, you've blocked his route out to Munich, he'd have to go Prague to come down the way or continue going north. So yeah. you want to check that. It'll, or you might just try and check 20 to make sure he's not gone down into Florence, uh, into Italy. But. Yeah, Godalming can be a bit like. Cool thing. Yeah, I think the thing is like Van Helsing can do with Paris, have no issue. Um, Seward can do with 24. Mina, it also depends if there's a trade, so maybe he's traded fast horses to Seward perhaps. And Mina can then mop up mm. 24. So, you know, the you know the two best fighters, one with the most health and one of the most items, can charge forward and try and find Dracula's location after Wolf Form. Um. A big decision which one yeah maybe decide. maybe you do maybe just do just rule out 59 mm. tricky well a good the game so far gone. don't go ahead roscoe Oh, I only moved one space. 
Interesting. Well, you know, you can't go south. Couldn't have gone south, so it must have got to northern Germany. Hmm. Like I said, you go from forty-one. You try to get to forty-four, but but it's also really risky with all yeah. the rail lines. Yeah. Yeah. And it was one of those bottlenecks that if you've got, you can't go back with being a wolf to 41. You land on 58 in Berlin, then it's a case of. Yeah. He moved on your screen. I just got a connection timed out on mine. Has he moved or I'm, I'm still, it still says I'm waiting for Pete's the wizard. We could that. Seems to be catching up. Got Mina Harker moving. All right, my screen's frozen then. I'll, no. I'll come back. Yeah, Mina checking Genoa was good. And rolls out that. So it looks like Northern Germany is the situation here. Oh, okay, good. Huh? That's the thing, there's a lot of encounters here, but the thing is, like, the hunters know where the first three are. Yep, it goes a long way. Okay, good, good, that's great. So, in Paris, too. Can we, can we oh. deal with this soil? Um, if you can't, it's not the end of the world because like Dracula's only burnt one health anyway. So unless Dracula goes to sea in the next two turns, he's not going to get much value out of the healing. So maybe the hunters might not reveal that they got a heavenly host. Okay. Uh, what's in the, anything weird in the discard? No, not really. All pretty normal stuff. So they can just check uh, Strasbourg, and then yeah, I think forty-one was most likely here. Draco, if, if Draco's in forty-four now, it might be moving to fifty-eight. I feel like fifty-eight is such a risky location because if the hunters find you, you've got so far to go to get anywhere to a, like close to a port. It's yeah, really right. risky. So I had a match Boy, against man. Pirate Joe when I was playing hunters. In the league that came out uh, a couple of days ago, I don't know if you've seen it, but basically it was, it was a match like that where Jack was heading east, and I was like, okay, well I've got fast horses, so I'm just going to catch up with you eventually, because you're just going like the long way. And I was able to just basically shepherd him, and he was one turn away from Castle Jack. I was like, oh no, I'm on you now. <laughs> nice. That sounds like a good game. Hmm. Hopefully later on I can have more of the same in my other match against Quincy, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see him. Speaking of Quincy, I've been watching a little bit of Quincy's videos. Uh, he seems to be under the impression that it's a good idea as Dracula to try to get into a fight early on with the Hunters. I was wondering what your thoughts were on that. Um, I generally say no, um, but I'm in general... Oh, it didn't go to 41. Fascinating. Uh, in general, my uh, when I play a lot of games, I do play a little bit more conservative. I try and play the long run. I feel um, if you get into early fights, there's a huge risk that they go wrong. I mean, maybe the, the reasoning for it is that the hunters are more likely to be not as tooled up. And they won't be able to react so well with events like escape route or planned ambush and all this sort of stuff. Um, but still, if, if you have a poor fight, then you... Dracula could get crippled quite early and then is running around on very little health and it causes quite a few issues for Drac. Um, it just depends on the situation. If you can take the advantage and get, you know, a kill early, then that's good. Um, mm. But I, mm, It depends on yeah, the situation because, again, you're not actively as Drac. You don't want to be landing on a hunter space to fight them because yeah. you can't place an item or an yeah. event. So you're, it's only going to be if they... Well, it's kind of, if they find you, you will fight them anyway. So I don't see you really could, sure. You have to try and do it in a way that the hunters deliberately move into you. But then there's a huge risk that they might not move in the order you expect. Because you might think, oh, I'll try and pick off Van Helsing or Mina because they move late in the turn. But all it takes is Godalme to move on to you. And then you're just like, oh, crap. <laughs> They've moved first. And now you've got three other hunters that could potentially, depending on their position, get into you. I'm not against... I'm it's all very dependent on the situation if you can pick off someone like me or van helsing like solo with like 
no help close by, then yeah, I can see why it could be good. Um, but in general, the... in the league, I haven't be I haven't been playing Dracula that way. I'm not saying you. No, I mean I'm not the best track player. There'll be other the ways of doing it. The advantages I could really see uh, would be primarily. I mean, if you knock somebody out, great, but you're more likely to just land the strength card against somebody's weapon. Uh, I think that's a pretty big advantage because it's kind of like stealing their action from them. Mm. Uh, if, say, you... Say somebody's nearby and you move to a city close to them in anticipation that they'll discover you and then they do and you have the dust combat and they get over eager and you're able to destroy some of their weapons... That's best case scenario for Dracula, mm. but I don't really see it getting a whole lot better than that. Yeah. No, I mean, and then you've got to rely on the fact that you've got them, you're fighting them on a small village so they can supply weapons, because if it's a big city, they just supply the next day. Um, yeah, that's true. On a good mm -hmm. he gets two weapons back straight away, so or two items back, whatever. But no, I think it's, um, I, yeah, I don't think Drax would act, well, some players do, they'll, they'll actively go and try and take out hunters, but the risk is, I mean, if you haven't been revealed so far, as soon as you do, you know, if you're actively looking for Hunter, then it's going to reveal where you are. So, yeah, if they find you, then of course you fight them. But I'd be more tempted to, if it was, you know, if it was Van Helsing, for example, in the UK, and after the Dusk fight, he's sitting on one health, I'd be tempted to stay and try and take him out. Hmm. Um, because then the other hunters can't, can't jump on you. You take out Van Helsing, which then removes all his items, stops any trades. Yeah. Um, which is but a I huge swing, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't actively go out kind of finding a hunter to jump on. Um, but everyone's and different. The, everyone's the earlier you take somebody out, the earlier Dracula can try to escape. But uh, the later you defeat them, the more influence you gain for it. The and the more... The more refined their hand of item and event cards will be, and thus the more punishment mm -hmm. they'll feel from the defeat. Uh, so you gain more value, knock people out later, but it's more difficult. Yeah, yeah, correct. I'd say so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I've won but some games where it's been reckless that I've killed a you know a yeah. hunter and I've won it you on would. two reckless bites, and it's a case of you don't have to get Drac involved at all. Yeah. Um, or so, you might wear somebody down with repeated engagement <laughs> encounters until they're you know at four or five health when Dracula encounters them and you can take them out. Mm -hmm. It's it's very fascinating how it goes. There are some games where there's like so little interaction between the hunters and uh, Dracula, like directly. Obviously it's all through like the minions and uh, fighter vamps mm -hmm. and stuff. But then you have other games where Dracula is constantly getting into combat and then it gets really bloody because the hunters can die, especially like if it's like a Van Helsing or a Mina. You're just asking for things to go wrong. Um, yeah. I think I'd probably agree. I, I more do yeah, if, if I've been jumped on by a hunter, um and I'm not gonna get a huge advantage by moving, I'll just feed and stay in place and then basically say to the hunter, Alright, then we're gonna have another fight at dawn and then you're gonna have to decide, do you wanna stay here with me and fight in dusk again or are you gonna leave? And then yeah. Yeah, forcing the hunter to leave simply to flee Dracula feels so bad as the hunter is such a waste of an action. Hmm. So this... All right, so we know where Dracula is, everybody. Amsterdam or Edinburgh. If you're following along at home. <laughs> he's in Amsterdam, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very... I mean, just... Yeah, if it's CG... Well, I mean, again, like, if, if it is CG, is it really that bad? Um, If he plays CG now, then it's not that bad. Because he, yeah, he takes seven damage well you take five damage then you'll go back to seize that's seven he's on full health still he has to wait one more turn for him to go into manchester and then you could try down the cg and just kill him instantly yeah um, F forcing a dracula error is not the same as forcing dracula's defeat yeah mm -hmm. he could still get away even after that game with that yeah you take that damage then get your wolf form back mm-hmm which is important and again typically you might think there's nothing really laid down which is of importance for them so yeah cg again so that argument is that if you have it when do you play it but you want to play it when you've got the best chance of it just wiping out drac rather than as you say you do it now down seven but he's on full hit oh he's, oh, got, he's got it Watch him out. He just then again <laughs> you oh. you know where dracula is 
now, so maybe it's yeah. better to play it now before you lose track of yeah. where he is. And... Yeah, there's there's arguments to both. As a, it's block, we, it's gonna block Manchester. You don't you so don't you don't have to reveal any more. Don't reveal any more. Just you you've done the job. <laughs> He has to go back to North Sea, and the hunters are all there, so typically he's going to have to go North Sea and then North Atlantic. He's not going to land in Germany. So, I think. Um, hmm. Mr. Green was right. This could end badly. I didn't think. You, you wouldn't. It's a thing, though, isn't it? You've just got always assumed that they draw a CG on the first hand. You always assume they've got it. Um, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, that was, that was well played. He's only got Godarming revealing how many hosts, which is good. Where are you going, Pizza Wizard? Go on. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The track's going to be down to 8 health here. Um, and also, also, I'd, I'd also all, all, all these encounters easy, all these encounters get wiped too, so the hunters don't have to worry about dealing with any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> Seeing Mr. Green caught in the UK by the consecrated ground, I'm not going to lie, it makes me feel a little better. <laughs> caught by that trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, mate, it was obvious. He, oh well, he could only been in one of two. Whereas we were all talking about you could be down in Italy, and I was yeah. just going, "Oh fuck, let's we'll just throw it in the UK." So <laughs> yeah, here there's like another option. I mean, oh, uh, I remember that was that was some great mind games in that <laughs> game where where I'm sitting there going to the UK because I'd actually already seen the consecrated ground card. And then Roscoe's sitting there telling Scott, sort of, that's exactly what he wants us to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was right. <laughs> that'll be a good video to watch back, actually. The commentary on that'll be quite good. That's good. Yeah, that'll come out again yeah, in is... mid-January. I mean, it's, it's good for the hunters because they've done damage, but the thing is, like, and they've still got to do this reckless because it's not going to fall off the trail. So that has to be dealt with. Um... There's no, there's no rumor token though, so do you, do you risk that for instead of delaying some doing the UK for that? Because he's, he's going to have to go another seat. It is, it is only and Rufus four. Kicks in, Rufus kicks in another That's two true. And then the fact he no, pro might probably will have to. I mean, do you, do you wolf form? I mean, probably, right? You have to wolf form to have a little bit. Oh, it's too obvious that he's going to land from North Atlantic and France. And this yeah. is, this is where it's. Terrific to have Rufus Smith. Dracula is at around mm -hmm. half health. He needs to move multiple C zones if he wants to trick anybody. Yeah. It might just be you just heard yeah, leap yeah. him to death potentially, depending on how far oh, he moves. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's gonna have to land somewhere with like two, three health probably. He's, I mean, still got Wolfform feeds back, so it's not the end of the world either. Um, not at all. Even if he'd Wolfform to Manchester when he landed. CG and Heavenly Hosts would have still damaged them anyway, so he couldn't. Yeah, you know, eventually, yeah, easy. it would have done. Yeah, you, yeah, pretty much revealing where you've gone. You'd always, even two C's because you could be in the North Atlantic or the English Channel. It just gives you a chance to delay them around. But um, that's, that's that's good. I guess Peter didn't want to wait until the next day because oh, of the, I agree. No, the potential yeah. of maybe don't, as well. don't have right. three yeah. three Heavenly Hosts. Just do it now immediately. It's also like, as you said, like it's not burning a hole in your pocket anymore. Um, it's been played in such a way that it's one of those where you go, oh, I've escaped it, and now you know it's there. You know, this now forces him not to go back to the UK again, effectively. So, yeah, you know, it kind of removes oh. the whole. A nice wow, five oh, five! Oh, five on the bottom! Holy crap! Oh. oh, there's a manual and unearthly swiftness at the bottom. Holy crap! That's um Wind Storms, well, see some in storms as well. Wow. And devilish power like swiftness. devilish power. Fuck. That's like, that's arguably like apart from Dodge Returns, that's four of the most powerful ones at the bottom. Whoa, yeah, you did not want a night supply. <laughs> devilish would have been great for him if he had it. He could have got rid of consecrated ground. Yeah. Absolutely. Oof. Well on now, Pizza Wizard. <laughs> Finding his form. Yeah, good use of the Consecrated Ground. Uh, in the third edition, in the board game, we talked about this, how Dracula could misdirect a C location. Mm -hmm. uh, that enabled him to do some real shenanigans with the Irish Sea in particular. Mm -hmm. um, because the way it is now, 
if he wants to do something cheeky like go from 18 to the irc and then back to 18 he can't really do that because north atlantic sea is probably already on the trail in that case right like he can't do that kind of stuff anymore but he used to he used to make you think he was leaving ireland only for him to turn back around and stay oh. there Oh. Since then, yeah, Scott Sword and I were talking about that. That that would have been hellish in third edition. It's one it's one amendment I think that's made it fairer. Because yeah, if you could miss the XC, Troops. Jesus Christ, you could. That's where consecrated ground really came in huge because it did him no good to do that kind of trickery up there. If you put mm. consecrated ground in Ireland, mm. is there an argument here with the consecrated? I'm not, I'm not saying in any way that it was a bad consecrated ground, but if you had another heavenly host. I think sorry, Quincy. I don't know. Oh, right, that is clearly something. Oh, he's just got a heavenly hose. Go on, Pizza Wizard. <laughs> you you know what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> um, if if you've got like if he had, I don't know if he did. I think there's things I know as were revealed. So maybe he did have another one, but chose not to play it. Do you put the consecrated ground somewhere else? Somewhere which it could be more impactful later in the game, and you just put a heavenly host in Edinburgh and heavenly host in Manchester. I don't That's know. an interesting thought. Thinking a few steps ahead and saying we don't really actually need consecrated ground there. We just need heavenly host there to get him to leave. Um, it's tricky because he could have misdirected Edinburgh and gone back to Edinburgh, right? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, from uh, the North Sea. North yeah, North. potentially. Yeah, he could have done. Yes. But is that really worth it for Dracula? I don't know. Situational. Um, yeah. But you I see your see point. Manchester, you'd be stuck it, well. Like, you could have put the consecrated ground in, like, 54 or 15 or something like that, anticipating Dracula's next move. Mm. That's really clever, Scott. Because you could make, like, a huge bottleneck. Or even Madrid or mm. something like that. Yeah. And really forced Dracula into some really awkward issues. But then he said you could just then just Mr. it and go straight back there. But then, oh, would you do that? I mean, maybe if you felt Well, you'd reveal safe. yourself though, wouldn't you? Because if you did that, all you could do is check Amsterdam. And if he's not there, you know he's gone back to Edinburgh. So then you can just jump on southern UK and work your way up. So yeah. Well, he could he could have wolfed. True. Uh, yeah, he could have wolfed onto Manchester. Even he's that wouldn't. That damage. You know, do you want to risk having three hunters jump? You know, if Kadami's got excellent weather, mm -hmm. then you're going to go back to see, you know, would you have time <laughs> it's to the, It's the kind of move the AI would do. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the AI would just fucking go the opposite way. It would wave at Dracula, and then they would all just walk the other way. <laughs> but sometimes the unexpected can be good. But I, I don't know if it would have been good here. With Mina Harker could probably ping Germany to be sure you didn't just wolf into Germany. Yeah, I mean... There's the wolf form. From okay, North Atlantic. so what are thinking, Arguably, yeah. I mean, could be in I mean, 47, 15, 54. He couldn't have gone to... I mean, it could be a cheeky one to... I mean, you know CG's gone now, so it could be one to Ireland, maybe. He yeah. could have gone English Channel and then wolfed into the UK. No. He could have gone to Plymouth, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's true. It's not... With four items there, then you go Irish Sea, then North Atlantic, because that's still free. You could feed. Yeah. Um... Because at the moment, if he's gone to 47... But still, if you, if you go if you go into the UK, you're going you're gonna to have to leave the UK via Irish Sea. Because obviously now North Sea is completely off because of Edinburgh being blocked. Yeah. So it's you um, to, you process of elimination here. Yeah. You, you, I, I would send Van Helsing to 47. Check that out. Try to get Mina and uh, John Seward to 51 on this turn. Ping France. And then at that point, you pretty much know he's not in those two places then he's got to be in the uk right i would say you'd start um, i also say i just send gadaming over already anyway um because you need to you need to do this reckless right so i would just go yeah, off and deal stayed, with that yeah, yeah, yeah. That. and then yeah if he has landed there then you've you've got somebody beautiful in the UK and 300 yeah. for but no piece of wood's not doing that There's a maybe credit. he'll send dr seward and use gadaming to hypnotize mina instead <laughs> hypnotize me now but her special ability is <laughs> yeah. she's hypnotized. In the book, Van Helsing always did it. Oh, yeah? Ah, okay. So I haven't read the book uh, yet, so I haven't... Uh, in, in the yeah, game, and, that, Scott, sorry, anybody else could. 
Oh, it's terrific. It's one of the greatest adventures ever put to pen. I, I start, a... just to be clear, I, I have, I've bought it and I have started reading it. Um, I just ran out of time, but no, over Christmas I should read too, but... Yeah. Well, he's doing what you said, Gyro. I don't know what Van Helsing... Van, did Van Helsing supply? I think he did. Hmm. Because if he's if he's if he's in the UK, he's buying himself a bit of time here because the Huns haven't committed to a port, so I have to move to a port. Ah, uh, uh, know now. Uh, Saves a lot of hassle. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, but oof. well, it's you sky, you psychic scan France, and we're gonna yeah, go. because they're not at a port, so they're gonna have to take one turn to get to La Havre, then English Channel, then and by that time, Jack is already preparing to leave again. Yeah, but. That's where you ask yourself, like, it's, it's like you said, you should have had Godalming or Dr. Seward already leaving last night. That yeah. would have been the move. Yeah, I'd um, say so. But even so, it's it's not really a too bad a situation for the Hunters, because what's he going to do? He's going to move around for a few turns, and he's going to have to leave. He's going to have to go Irish Sea, yeah. So, yeah. you know, he's blocked his, his access north, unless he has tried to It'd be crazy if we try to move into France because he's going to get revealed now. But and send two hunters across, or does he let Ad does he let Edinburgh mature, which then burns the other cut? You know, and all of a sudden he could spend longer in the UK. So it's probably yeah. more reason to now burn, uh, take care of Edinburgh. Yeah, and because also then if Edinburgh matures, English Channel falls off the trail again. So he's got another way of getting out. I know the Huns are probably going to pile in that way, but still, if he can trap them in London, say with fog. Well, they're trapped there in fog, you can just leave Dickens Channel and then wolf, wolf form back into France when all the hunters have suddenly committed their w over. Um, That's why you don't overcommit here. You definitely just send one, maybe two hunters. Yeah, I'd say two. Because um, otherwise and, it's just asking for one to get picked off. Yeah. It's all about figuring out Dracula's plans, too, ahead of time. So, like you said, he has to go to the Irish Sea. And after that... You have to look at where the he he can go to the North Atlantic after that if he wants. So if he wants to go from the Irish Sea straight to eighteen, muck about in Ireland for a few turns, he can do that. Mm. Um, so we have to, as the hunters, you have to be ready to flush him out of Ireland if he wants to do that. The ideal scenario is he's got a renewed vigor. He plays both fast horses to the coast in excellent weathers, and then or excellent yeah. weather and fast horse and catch him and. But if you leave it, because yeah, North Sea is still yeah. You don't want to leave Germany unopened because he could go back. But again, he's probably gonna have to go at least two oceans when he does go back. So that's another four health with Rufus. So and he's used feed now. Um, still a bit precarious. So yeah. This is obviously. I mean, I'll, I'll be brutally honest. I, if I was playing hunters here, I probably wouldn't have thought of this either. This is just me now sitting here without the stress of playing and just commenting. But like going back to that whole. Do you play CG somewhere different? Do you put the CG token somewhere like in London so that Dracula could never ever do this? Dracula would be forced to the North Atlantic. No. And then you could have a situation where this this situation would have never arisen. Uh, okay, yeah, then of course he could have misdirected North Sea, or not misdirected North Sea, but like misdirected Edinburgh and gone back into the UK that way, but then. Ah. Uh, because yeah, that's just a, it's like a mirror reflection of doing the Edinburgh move, isn't it? If you put CG in London, as you said, you would then misdirect the other. Or if you'd done it the other way, you could misdirect um, Edinburgh if it's a heavenly host. It's just a, I think I think if you've got it, I mean, he's done he's done the damage. He's restricted Edinburgh access mm -hmm. at least, and he's done damage on Drac now, and he's still got Rufus. So I think, as you said, it's one of those where would you have got another chance to play it? Maybe not. So that's the issue. It yeah. just sits there in your card, and then and oh, the thing is, gaining some players. value now is often better than theoretical value in yeah. the future. Yeah. 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 Why? There's why? the rumor token. I don't know why you put a rumor token on that. If Enra's going to mature, that's just going to take that rumor token out. And that brings up the um, the conversation of excellent weather. Is is it better to excellent weather, say like you're taking Van Helsing onto the mainland? Right at the beginning of the game, you gain some value out of the card now and free up the space, or do you save it for when you can jump on Dracula unexpectedly, say from like 39 to 23, mm -hmm. or like 8 to 23, or or 57 to 5, something like that? Yeah. 
I'm uh, the, I'm that's just so powerful. You on that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah excellent weather when you, when you phone track, not just to get to the main line quick for Van Helsing, because we still didn't The surprise to... factor. Oh! oh. Forewarned? Nope, no forewarned. Not this time. But that's a fog being used, though. He wolfed pretending to... Why don't he wolfed? He wolfed to Manchester, Swansea. or Swansea. I guess he went to Manchester, then he backtracked to London. Now he's going to have two ports on the west that he can go to, while so it's trapped in fog. Yeah. And probably now Mean is on the wrong port. He's going to mature, whether he allows it, whether he lets it go to a lair. I think uh. he's mature, because he said in the comments he, it's like he misclicked on the rumour. Hmm. And that gives him English Channel back, so he could go to Plymouth. Mm-hmm. And, well, yeah, you're right, Mina, she should land there tomorrow just to... Well, time's ticking on Tuesday, although he's got no idea, so it's going to be a long... He's, unless he's, he's going to get four in a minute. He's going to be a four so. now. Um... Hmm. But then that's the trail gone. You know, if, he, yeah. if that matures, then there's no and, other items nope. for him to worry about. No, nope. and also the thing is, like, as you're saying, like, a positive for the Hunters is, like... Dracula has used, and Feed's not coming back here, by the way, because of the timing of this. Dra Feed's not coming back. So, Dracula has used Feed and is only on 8 health. It's not as if he's fed and he's back up to 15 again. Um, but Rufus was doing a little bit of extra work there as well. So, yeah, it's not great for Dracula. At the same time, if he can survive long enough in the UK, it could really stall the game here, create a lot of issues for the hunters. It just depends. I always get. I always find it in the UK is such an awkward thing. I either overcommit or undercommit. I haven't quite figured it out. I, I was just going to mention that. Yeah, it, Dracula, it seems like such a disadvantageous place for Dracula because there's such few cities for him to move to and it's such a narrow alley with railroads on it. But if he can lure people into the UK, it's like a maze with the seas, sea mm. zones. He can he can jump over sea zones in a really uh, disjointed way. Mm. Yeah. Especially if you know the, the risk of sea. If there is no risk of CG, then why wouldn't you go there? And also, if you get something like a summon storms or whatever, you can just block it off for so long, and you could do some real and, damage. And you put the hunters in a position where they feel like there's no right move, whether they go to the UK or not. It just feels like you're lagging behind him. Yeah. yeah, and that's not what you want. As a hunter, you didn't ever want that. Yeah. You try and preempt when he's going to go to sea, so you send your hunter to sea first, so that you're going to be ahead of him. But mm -hmm. then, whenever you move, he could then decide if you go to North Atlantic. I mean, he's going to come out of there, but then it's South Atlantic or North Sea. And if you move your hunter to South Atlantic, he can then just go to the North Sea. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, Montreal's mm -hmm. been used as well. So and you're two turns, you're two spaces away from him. It's just yeah, it's a tricky yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, and we're sitting here thinking he would never just go back to UK, right? That'd be crazy, but that's exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. um, he's yeah. hoping and, and here he go back that again. he could bait an overcommittal and then get to the mainland and head east and just mm -hmm. lose them. And then so the good news was he obviously played the fog during the day, so it's not going to be as delayed. It'll get Seward, he'll be able he's yeah. gonna have to... If Seward, if Drac moves it or even hides now, yeah, that's, yep, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's Soon fine. it should be available tomorrow, so. Yeah, interesting. Well, then will Seward want to jump onto Drag in Liverpool on his own? Maybe. I mean, he's fully tooled up, you know? Yeah. You can't just stand off him. You've got it at some point. I think this is the best you can. Drag's at 8 health. Yeah, if, if you could, or even if you use like Croak Leap. Yeah. That's then really awkward for Drax. You can't feed, you're going to have to go to sea eventually, because with this consecrated ground, you can't start managing, meandering your way up to Edinburgh. Uh, you're kind of forced to go I to wrote sea. That fuck him. Yeah. yeah. That you would fuck be him just really land in Dublin, so. And you could move Mina to Galway already, right. and then Drax's going to have to move into her, and that's just the worst situation for Drax. Um, Here's the trade. This could be a forewarned and a heroic leap, like you said. Mm hmm. Second fog, if you had it, you'd probably play it just to hope because you know that Seward's not got forewarned, but maybe yeah. I'll be getting that now from old mm. man time. The, the odds of him having forewarned are, you know, there's, there's two of them and the fact that they're over halfway through the deck. Um, <laughs> and there are a lot of drag events mm. in the discard, but still. 
Yeah, shame about that missing Not research. Much. Yeah. But... It's still but again, it's like we say, isn't it? It's like you've burnt, you know, you've burnt some installments of manual, so it's a case of you've burnt four drac. Is that just as good as gaining four you know, hunter items? Oh, seeing some of, seeing all the worst yeah. Dracula cards in the discard pile can be very yeah, hard. Uh, that's what I'll say. Yeah, because especially a manual, because a manual means it doesn't really matter what else is in the discard pile if a manual's in the discard pile. Yeah. The only bad, really, really bad one that hasn't been put out yet is Darkness Returns. Darkness Returns um, yeah. But the fact is, like, both hoaxes are in the discarded encounters, so unless something really crazy happens, Dracula's not going to get any of those cards. Um, so even as a piece of, even though, yeah, I'd probably just still, like, do so if you really need to, just Night Supply, because you're going to, yeah. even if you do give him a Dracula event, what the hell is it going to be? Like, roadblocks? Like, who cares? <laughs> um, this is the thing, isn't it? Okay, so, I mean... It you know, those cards that got burnt are great, but then the hunters weren't, you know, they're not in any position at the moment. They have two night supply just now. There's no desperation for that. So they would have just sat there, you mm -hmm. know, until they decided when they wanted to. And that could have been you know, Game two days before or whatever. And all of a sudden, then he's got devilish power. He's got Emmanuel. And yeah. he could have summoned storms and he just stayed in the UK and threw down summon oh, storms. Oh, if he'd so. got all those cards, can you yeah. imagine? Brutal. Summon storms in the UK, Emmanuel. Oh, God. Yeah. Just you jump uh, out, yeah. it, it goes to show, like, if you're looking at the Dracula discard pile and you see all the worst Dracula cards in there, but you haven't seen a manual, you really got to watch out because if you get a manual, now he gets his pick of the bunch. Uh, it, is, mm. Doesn't it search through the discard pile or am I confused? It's, no, it searches from the deck. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It Top doesn't six. like. Yeah. What's the card that lets Dracula have his pick from the discard pile? That's hoax. Hoax, hoax, and both of them, yes. are, both okay. of them are in the dis yeah. uh, both of them being used. Of. So, right. so unless Mister Green gets through all this deck, and then but none of them are going to mature anyway. Right. Ooh. Yeah. So that's a good spot. So as long as he doesn't take too much damage here from this reckless, could use a heroic leap, and it could be pretty good. Or holy bullets again. Well, we haven't seen the garlic wreath, so another uh, holy yeah. bullet here is kind of unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> no, for he might, he might, he might, no, no, he will use the garlic wreath and holy bullets on Drac, right? It takes no. him out. It takes him out. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Just drag a garlic wreath and holy bullets. What we should do is, uh, we should have a three-on-one with Quincy Morris. As Dracula, and we'll all wear our garlic wreaths and <laughs> shoot him with our revolvers. <laughs> and then if we get him, we can have such a laugh. He, he will be privy to that plan, though. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's exactly, all about yeah, the surprise he factor. Can, he can work it out. You know, he'd be. Oh, we're obfuscating him. <laughs> Imagine the fight starts and. You're in the same space as two hunters, and they both reveal garlic wreath. <laughs> sure, ag like, okay, against... Let's just claw them. All right, if it's Dracula versus Mina, right, and she shows you her garlic wreath, you know she has potentially two other items to hit you with, right? But if two hunters are in your space, and they both reveal garlic wreath, you still got four items to worry about. It's almost like you're not really in a better yeah. spot as Dracula. Yeah. Oh, waiting for Pizza Wizard. So Mina's covering, that's good. He's covered that. Uh, I don't know. Do I... Do you, would you... Oh, yeah, because yeah, cause you can get ahead of Drac. If Drac leaves to see now, then you just go to Dublin to cover it. Yeah. Oh, is this a horrific leap? He's taking a long time to think about it. I'd love to see a fight. Probably making sure he clicks the right one doesn't miss. Imagine he misclicks the right leap. I'll oh, he's not here, doing you know. it. Oh, this should be a great one. Might not have it. it might this have been a... this could be this is could be game deciding this fight. This is yeah, uh, battle of the century. Because you know if if Sue dies here, that's like quite a lot of points, and then the fact that Drag might be able to escape, and then you got Reckless that's going to mature. But if Hunters get a lot of damage in, that could be. There's no ag in play either, so... No, uh, he valued Rufus on yourself, Pizza Wizard. Yeah. Valuing Rufus more. <laughs> <laughs> See, Aggie would have been... Yeah, but Aggie could have been one in the game, yeah. no? Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't need Rufus in this situation. Yeah. So you need to surprise the turn to get, leap, it, to get he, it back. He would play the, as he was thinking, a heroic leap leaves him with two health, but it would also then take... You know, drag down to three. 
and and Jack and Jack can't the Jack can't feed. Can't feed. Can't feed. Yeah. No. So I guess the only way we Jack to stay in place, but but Sue's gonna heal at night, so he's gonna be back up to four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm. plotting. Oh, oh wow, what a plotting that is. Okay, well now you're hoping they've got great strength in their deck somewhere. Yeah. That's a good start for Mr. Green. That's like a plotting to begin with. Mm-hmm. It's five items. Uh, yeah, only two items on there, so yeah. It's interesting. Full and holy bullets, you know. That's, yeah, that's it awesome. may... Well, yeah. It's steak, have, steak, horses, or like horses, holy bullets. It's got to be the two options, yeah. I don't know. I haven't checked the discard power. How many? I think no. The decks, the the item decks reset. So yes, it did. Yeah. So that's not going to work. Hmm. Oh, this is. Uh... And then there's going to be a situation here where all Seward's weapons get broken. I have to see. Strength. Yeah. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Oh. Nice. Okay. Very, very well done. So that's a fair trade off. Yeah, that's that. I take that. That's dragged down to half health already. Well, not half health, you know, half of his remaining yeah. health taken. Yeah. Look out for that Fangs, he's a thirsty boy. Yeah. The good thing is, he hasn't mesmerized him yet. If he can get away with the mes, of course, he's got plotting there, so he could try mesmerizing Fang. Yep. One of my favorite things about this game is how um, the combat is not entirely disconnected from what's going on in, like, the, the main game, I guess you could say. Uh, you have to consider things like the rewards Dracula is going to get for playing certain cards at certain times. Just thinking there, do you know what? If Sue had double Heavenly Host and he just went balls for the wall, that would be <laughs> game over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still got is it just me, or was I hearing some birds chirping in the background? Have we got more uh, bird hype after Quincy's oh, latest video? That, that would be my parakeets. Ah, uh, so, yeah. I just got the tropical location, so I'm <laughs> gonna have it here. It's, it's snowing here, so there's gonna be no birds out here. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I was watching obviously Quincy's latest video was the match that I played against him earlier on in the final league. It was nice watching it from another perspective. But yeah, hearing uh Oh That's in he's he's No, he's he's, he's, he's taken the bite, he's taken the bite. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Well not remove, not remove him, so yeah. it's not terrible. He took he, he did two damage. Um Did you say you'll heal tonight? Oh yeah, he's, so, so, he's only got a pistol, so yeah. When he's revealing wax cylinders, that's not very, uh, that's not critical. I see, like, what what's Strack gonna do here? Like, do you Mister X one Z? Do you go to C? Because Mina could just move ahead of him, and you got to force Drac to move to at least North Atlantic. That was a stake. Okay, that's our vampire gone. Hmm. Mm. In interesting. Yeah, Drac has got a very. Dracula has to see. Dracula has Dracula to see. Dracula is a very busy man. Yeah. yeah. Making house calls over there. <laughs> bottomless bag is just like Mary Poppins just keeps pulling things out. Look what I've got now. <laughs> Dracula. Has to stop fighting Dracula so he can go slaughter his minion. <laughs> Dracula has the to good thing is, see. Dracula's got to go to sea. Yeah, he can't afford because the minion's going to land. Unless he risks. The possibility of uh, Seward not having forewarned again. And tries to trap both of them in Swansea, then he leaves. So, yeah, well, problem is, if he does that, you have to go English Channel, and then you've got the two hunters sitting there waiting. I would maybe then go, like, Iris Seal drop stuff in Ireland. You might be, you'd be able to feed before you leave. And depending on the time, mm -hmm. this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Might be, able, might be able to, might be able to get three points out of it beforehand. He's done Mr. X. The thing that, okay, I mean, the good thing is what you could do is Seward huh? could then deduct Swansea just to see if it's worth landing on. If it's nothing, if it's fog, you can avoid it. 
Oh yeah, he's also oh, he's a wolf for me to land. <laughs> well, we assume, well, it has to be the London, right? You would, yeah. There's enough a place to wolf onto. I've never seen such a stubborn vampire. <laughs> <laughs> they are tenacious, these undead. Oh, oh, right. Okay. right. This okay. if there's, if there's an excellent weather. <sighs> yeah. There could be fog in London. This is the thing, though, and they don't have forewarned. They might not be able to get well, in here. Well, again, two can deduct London. Heck, what it is. If you have speedy telegraph, maybe play speedy telegraph. Yeah. There was then... something that came up for pizza was that you didn't use in that fight, so... Yeah, I don't know what that was. Hmm. I think, I think that's I think that was a speedy telegraph. That seemed like that was a prompt for speedy telegraph, I think. You should just not to play it. Ooh. What are your favorite speedy telegraph combos, Roscoe? Um, as in what order of yours? Uh, just give me one that you like. I'll go first. I'm quite fond of using speedy telegraph in combination with hypnosis to have Mina Harker going first, delay herself during the day so she can come undelayed at night, and you know where Dracula is and start having everybody else go towards him. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably because I mean, speed telegraph. That's probably the, the, the optimum time to use it when you've got hypnosis or you're trying to find him if he's landed from sea. Um, so yeah, that'd probably be the only one. To be fair, it's one of those I don't really use maybe as much as I should. Um, you no, know, if yeah, I mean, human mean has got hypnosis on it, then you would do that. But typically, if that came up, it's like, well, I could try that, but yeah, maybe I should use it more often. Um, another thing you can do with it is use it in tandem with whoever has money trail to yep. reveal the money trail first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, usually with that, though, I would normally what I would try and do is money trail, I would just stick it on Godalming anyway. Yeah, if, um, if you have the luxury to do that, yeah. Yeah, uh, I guess you could try again, Seward, if he's got wax to try and find a hide, if, but again, he's going to go second anyway, so it's mm, like I never thought of that. I think, I think yeah, Mina's mini hypnosis is the. It's the best one to do on there. Um, Everything again, else would you, come down to geography, I think. Yeah. yeah. And like, if you, I mean, it's, if you combo it with a renewed vigor, it can be useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can yeah. take those, at least in the digital version, you can take the two actions, whatever order you want. Right. So, so yeah. it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. I, I'd, yeah, I'd be more inclined to combo it up with another event instead of how I'd use the players around there. And then again, obviously, it runs through till night, but you don't really, you know, unless you've got a. You want to place a CG or something at night as well, but again, you'll get round to that before Drac does anything anyway. So yeah, the night element isn't just... doesn't usually come in handy. No. He, did, he didn't ambush uh, London, but oh! you could potentially combo nice. it with Mystic Research uh, to have Van Helsing perform Mystic Research at night, and then everyone yeah. else can supply. And the other three supply, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. That's one thing I like about the Speedy Telegraph card is. It doesn't have a well, lot of inherent. Well, oh, that's well, it. Well played, <laughs> Pizza Heroic Wizard. Wizard. It's over. Well played, oh, Pizza Wizard. Nice. I think what he did there that was incredibly well played. Jeez, I think gosh. I think there was fog. He did move Mina in because he knew the fog would trigger possibly on Mina, and then he played Vampire Lair with Mina. So his victory is even more convincing. Yeah. Hat well played, Pizza Wizard. That was very well done. And he was like, just perfect, because I, I think Sud was going to, I think Sud might, I can't remember if Sud healed, but even if Sud died, it doesn't matter, because the Dracula dies first, that's all that matters. Wow, very well played. Very good game. Uh, influence was four, yep. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the Vampire Leia, which was a prime, uh, that was very well played. Was that right? Four. He got four from maturing the Reckless, he got a bite from Seward. He might got a reckless bite in there somewhere too. And then reduce it to four. Yeah? Okay, that sounds right. I'll try the recording back, but that sounds right. I mean, they're, they're going to report it to Peter anyway. Oh! Uh, there you go, Peter. And this is interesting, because I was... Scott Sword and I were having a discussion about the Pizza Wizard, and they, we were saying that, that he's, uh, his league standing or where it was doesn't justify, really, gameplay. He's a very good player. He's just been unlucky, or he's made a slight mistake at his end. 
and he could have done one thing or another to lose that. So it's always one of those that it was a case of, all right, you're bottom of the league, but it was he plays very well. And I mm-hmm. think now he's finding form when, I mean, that's him now. He's on a little run himself, actually. So Yeah, beat, beat Bugs fairly convincingly. Beat, and, that, and that's a big swing on IDS Mr. as Green's well. Big, uh, and Mr. Green's one of the, you know, tougher players, shall we say. So he's done well to play against him, mm-hmm. win that. That was, was a good game. Oh, yeah. Good, so that's yeah. with a name like Mr. Green, he's got to be good at board games. <laughs> 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 wonder if the other uh, which Warcrafts, I wonder if the other game's still going. I don't know. We can quickly check that. I will just I'll end this recording yeah. here and then we can keep chatting afterwards. So, thank you very much, uh, Jairo and Roscoe, for commentating with me on this. This has been lots of fun. We'll be doing it again Always soon sometime. A pleasure. All right, take care, everybody. See you in the next episode very soon. Bye bye.